We're talking about the end of apartheid in South Africa today, and we will start with Nelson Mandela getting released from prison, which happened in February of 1990. Your goal for the screencast is when you're done with it, you should be able to explain the end of apartheid in South Africa. It's pretty quick, so that shouldn't be too hard for you. Here's a picture of Nelson Mandela and his wife Winnie as he got released from prison. Um, it was a pretty big deal. You guys already watched a short video on this about the speech that he gave as well as some of the violence and a little bit of rioting that happened that day. Mandela got released from prison for a similar reason as the eventual as for a similar reason as the apartheid government actually fell. The internal and the external pressure on the white um, Afrikaner government just got to be too much. Internally black South Africans were increasingly making the country ungovernable with their mass action. Externally, the economic pressure on South Africa by these multinational corporations who refused to do business on them made it really, really difficult for the apartheid government to survive. With Mandela being probably the most famous black South African prisoner in jail, his release was something that was important to the world, and this internal and external pressure were huge reasons why that happened. Additionally, when Mandela got let out of jail, the ANC and all other leading anti-apartheid groups got unbanned, which meant that these groups were allowed to be legitimate political parties and were able to go out and push for multiracial elections and freedoms regardless of the race of the people that were, or re freedoms regardless of the race of the people in South Africa. There were some negotiations between these various anti-apartheid groups and the National Party, which was the party of the apartheid government. And the first multiracial elections took place in April of 1994. Nelson Mandela was elected the first president of South Africa in these free multiracial elections, which was not a surprise to anybody. There's still economic inequality and racial issues between the various groups in South Africa, but that's true in America as well. Um, Despite these, this continuing economic inequality and the racial issues, the days of apartheid legislation of rights where you had certain rights based on the color of your skin and you had certain privileges based on the color of your skin, those are over. So again, your goal was to explain the end of, the, of apartheid in South Africa. Hopefully that wasn't too hard for you. If it was, head back and rewatch certain sections. Thanks.